Well guys, you're never gonna believe what just happened. Cause I don't believe what just happened. Hold on, it's hot. I still have a horrific headache. I'm gonna try to drive. I don't have the light squiggles anymore. It's funny that that's light around me cause that's kinda what it feels like. But um, I'm okay. I would not drive if I was not okay because Brandon's right down the street. Um, he would leave work and go get the kids. I think I'm okay. I've been resting all day. I've taken the four ibuprofen. Yeah, I still have a headache. It's taking up this whole side of my head, but I don't feel dangerous at all anymore. I'll go home and rest after, but okay. So what happened? You're never gonna believe this. I've been waiting forever to get in to see a rheumatologist. A rheumatologist is a lupus doctor. Okay, I'm gonna pay attention, sorry. Um, He's, okay, a rheumatologist is the doctor that specializes in lupus. How to, uh, they work on arthritis and lupus symptoms and autoimmune symptoms. And yeah, I'm pretty pissed because they just called me all upset saying, yeah, you have an appointment next week. I said, yeah, no, not next week, next month. And I said, yes, I was actually gonna call you today to see if I could get in sooner because I'm in the middle of a horrible, horrible lupus relapse and I really need to see someone. And she's like, well, then you're not gonna be happy with me. We just had a doctor quit and um, leave us high and dry. And so we are actually canceling all future appointments. Yeah, so they're canceling my appointment, not rescheduling with another doctor because apparently this doctor had tons of patients because they were really good. I don't know what the heck happened at that office to have a doctor walk out, but that's what happened. And now every one of her patients is out of luck. Um, they did give me these numbers <laughs> like well you can call around I'm like call who you know I mean what am I supposed to do and they're like well you can look up rheumatologists in your area I'm like I live in the middle of nowhere you were my first you were like my hope of getting in in the next several months to see someone I was like so what am I supposed to do they said we don't know this is my life, guys. Yeah, the one hope I had. I'm just really pissed. So, I just thought of something. Last night, Ow. I walked out to the kitchen to help Brandon do the dishes, Bella, and he left the cabinet open, and I came up and I slammed my head mm. on the cabinet. That's I'm why sorry. you need help. <laughs> it will that was awesome, Bella. <laughs> that was funny. Well, you just made both of our days. No, Bella, that was funny. <laughs> you just made both of our, da our days. You're right. <laughs> so, it doesn't feel as bad. Yeah, but I hit my head so hard. I mean, I didn't think that I had a concussion or anything. I do have a lump. Do? Yeah, but um, I... I'm wondering if that's why I'm having this horrible migraine all day today, because that's exactly where my head hurts, and I'm finally making the connection that, oh yeah, I slammed my head last night. I don't have a brain bleed or any of that crazy stuff. I think I just, I got a headache from slamming my head, and my body went, ooh, something to fight. And so now it's eight. Yeah, so, fun times. Put her lean in and show them. You might just hold it. This thing is amazing. It I makes it the most satisfying sound when you uh, when you push them in. Just listen. <laughs> I love it. It's like bubble wrap. You mm -hmm. gotta show them. See, you push the little buttons. Yeah. I have. I love it. And 